Hi there. In this video, we are going to be modifying this toy 4x4 car to work with uh, standard AA rechargeable batteries instead of uh, battery packs that it has in it. Okay, so the initial video uh, where I got this uh, car and reviewed it will be linked in the description. I really like this thing, but it's lacking in power and it discharges the batteries quite quickly. And also it has this rather weak charger that takes a really long time to charge the, the battery pack. So, yeah. And daughter helping me to make this modification so we can play together with this thing. Anyway, so I opened this up. Here we have the original battery pack, it's, uh, don't confuse this for lithium, it's a nickel metal hydride pack uh, formed from AA cells, 700 million powers at total 4.8 volts, so it's quite weak and we'll be replacing it with these things which are uh, 2400 million powers uh, each so the pack in total will have 2400 million powers at 4.8 volts uh, they are ready to use variants so they are already charged and I can charge them much quicker with my uh, Litocala charger that I will also put in the description and these things cost me about four or five dollars from Lidl so yeah it was a, a good buy. Let's get this thing out. We also have one of these uh, battery holders for four cells, four uh, AA cells. Yay! Which, coincidentally, kind of fits quite well in here. If it doesn't fit perfectly, we will make modifications, but I don't think they are required. So let's get this out. Uh, cut some wires or, or, or solder this. To this not really sure if I, I want to preserve this battery pack like it is with its charger uh, I think I will actually preserve it and cut the wires here so let me do that now okay cut the connector prepared the wires also cut this one length they will be something uh, like this and the wires will hop sorry about that will go to the side to the next ones and I will put some heat shrink on them uh, just to make uh, an insulation so we don't get a shard. And my daughter talking in the background. <laughs> Wires are soldered. Now we'll just pull the tube onto them and uh, heat it up so it heat shrinks in place. And at this point we are basically ready to push everything back together in here so let's do just right that now basically at this point pushed this thing in place making sure the wires are not damaged we had enough spare room in here to tuck in the wires now putting in the batteries and uh, see if the cover goes uh, nicely on this thing if not I will need to take it out and cut a bit uh, this edge seems to be a bit too high but it might not bother us. We will see now that I put the batteries in. Okay, let's see. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be lifted just a tiny bit in there. But once I put this screw in here, flat as it could ever be. So, seems to be working. Let's put this in position. Voila. And it's done. Then in theory it should be on. Do I have batteries in this thing? I think I do. On. Come on. Finish. Heh. Okay. We should have more power and way more uh, uh, playtime from this thing compared to the original batteries but again this is whole plastic this will break fairly quickly but at least until it breaks we can play with it quite nicely now hopefully
and you might be wondering why was this modification even required uh, battery packs like uh, the one that we pulled out where is it these things in my country at least without trying to buy them from china and waiting half a year to not receive anything because lately i'm not receiving basically anything from china uh, in my country these are ten dollars and they are the crappy quality ones like this so they were extremely weak take a lot of time to charge basically useless close to useless so the batteries that i put in are much stronger will last way longer and when when this thing uh, gets damaged which, which is 100 percent it will get damaged i can take them out and use them in other uh, things around the house this thing so weak that basically maybe in some solar lamps you can use them but i wouldn't bet even on uh, that so yeah this is why this was required this weird little modification to have a bit of fun with this toy before we break it let's see Ooh. Ha, this is fun let me go out and play with my daughter with this thing and uh, get back to you after a while uh, and tell you if this has been worth it or not this mod and yes obviously i know battery packs are uh, safer and much more convenient compared to what i put in this thing but they are convenient for quality stuff not for for cheap chinese things that will last two weeks i for those I don't find a reason to invest in a, a battery pack that I will not use on something else. So yeah, that's my uh, thinking behind this. So if you have nice toys, even for, for grown up uh, grown ups, yes, get battery packs, stick to them, get good quality ones, get good chargers, and you will have lots of fun. For this, just not worth it. Okay, so we've been playing with this thing for hours at this point and the batteries still have the initial charge so we didn't need to recharge them or anything <laughs> yeah this upgrade was uh, worth every cent that i paid uh, on the parts which basically actually can be reused in case this thing uh, ever fails so yeah i mean my book that's a no-brainer it they just last they last a lot compared to the original batteries which were quite quite weak no name whatever so that's about it for this video if you are thinking to do this honestly in my opinion it's well worth it i i haven't seen any downside to to doing it so do it <laughs> and yeah that's about it thank you for watching and hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye